Shalom, I'm Messianic Rabbi Zef Porat, and welcome to Biblical Hebrew Foundation. You find yourself often running late. You may not be late, but on God's time. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not be faint. Being late for a plane or stuck in a traffic jam sometimes can be very frustrating and cause you to be late. Are you really late or are you on God's time? Maybe God is protecting you from something. There was a brother here in Israel who was scheduled to go to a conference in Finland. He missed his plane and could not make it to the conference in Finland. I remember he called me at 2 o'clock in the morning and said, Zev, please call the team, please call everybody. Satan attacked me. I missed my plane and I'm not going to make it to Finland. Call everybody and pray. I told him, I'm not going to call anybody. He said, what do you mean? I missed my plane. I said, if you missed your plane, then God was protecting you from something. You may think that you were late, but you are on God's time. We don't know what the reason is, but God does. Praise Yeshua. We found out the next day that that plane never made it to Finland. They had to make an emergency landing. There was a technical problem on the airplane. God was protecting the brother. Sometimes things don't work out the way we want them to work out, but God ultimately is protecting us. Does that mean that we're supposed to be late everywhere? Absolutely not. As believers in Yeshua and Jesus, we have to have order. Our yes needs to be yes and our no needs to be no. We need to be on time. But if we do our duty and our best to be on time and something happens, we need to understand that God ultimately is in control and maybe he's protecting us from something. When the Bible says to wait for the Lord, it also means when things don't work out the way you want them to work out, ultimately it's his time. Tehilim, Psalms 27 verse 14. Wait for the Lord, be strong, and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. And sometimes God's beautiful time will also be used as an evangelistic tool. We are now witnessing to a family that has witnessed God's perfect time. The father takes a bus to work every day as he's a teacher. And every day on the bus, he reads the Psalms. A few weeks ago, he arrived to the bus station and his bus only comes once every hour. That means if he misses the bus, he's late for work because he has to wait for another hour. When he arrived to the bus station, he realized that he forgot his Psalms book at home. And he was left with a choice. Do I get on the bus without the Psalms today and make it to work on time? Or do I go back home and take the Psalms and be late to work? He chose to go back home and take the Psalms book. Five minutes after he left, a terrorist ran over people that were standing in the bus station. If he would have chosen to continue to stand there, he would have been ran over. God's perfect time. He may have been late to work but God was protecting him in order to show him his glory, in order to bring him into Messiah Yeshua, salvation. We are now witnessing to him and his family as they saw the protection and the glory of God. Maybe you've been working at a job for a long time, doing a great job. The light of Yeshua Jesus is shining through you and you've been waiting for a promotion. And suddenly somebody new comes to the job and works only a year and you've been there for several years and he gets the promotion and you feel frustrated. Maybe God is protecting you. If God closed the door, he has a better door for you. We don't know what the reason is, but praise the Lord. Maybe you've been praying for something that you know is the will of God and it's not coming to pass. Praise the Lord. Remember that his time is perfect and may his will be done. The next time something happens to you, and you miss your train or your appointment, or you're stuck in a traffic jam for four hours, praise the Lord. God may be protecting you from something. We praise the Lord, Yeshua, God, in every situation. Psalms 34, verse 1. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise will always be on my lips. This is what Paul meant when he said, Rejoice always. The next time you're running late, you may not be late. You may be on God's perfect calendar. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus, Yeshua. It doesn't say to give thanks 
in some circumstances. It says give thanks in all circumstances. That's when you miss a plane, when you're late for work, when you're in a traffic jam, when you missed a conference. It doesn't matter. Praise the Lord. His timing is perfect. The word in Hebrew for I will bless the Lord in all time is the word et in Hebrew. Bekol et in every time. There are two Hebrew words for the word time. One is man, which is modern Hebrew, and the other one is et. They both mean time. Bekol et and zman. But bekol et doesn't only mean time. It also can mean in every circumstance and time. So in English it says at all times. In Hebrew it says at all times and circumstance. God is in full control. Psalms 34 verse 1. Avarecha et Adonai bekol et. In every time and circumstance. Tamid tehilato bepi. So we can see here that the word in Hebrew for time is bekol et, which also means time, but also means in all circumstances. Bekol et, I will praise the Lord. I pray this teaching has blessed you as it has blessed me over the years. Let's continue to stand together as the one new man, Ephesians 2.15, bring the gospel back to Jerusalem and go home. Until next time, I'm Messianic Rabbi, Zef Porat sending you blessings from Yerushalayim, from Jerusalem, Israel, in the mighty name of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, Al Ye Yehuda, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, Jesus Yeshua, Amen.